Last Friday, I'm sat in my computer chair. I'm watching something I should not be watching. Video after video, I told myself I would script YouTube videos, and yet here I am, before the sun's even up. I know I'm supposed to be making that full guide to beat your procrastination, yet here I am, watching self-improvement videos on how to stop procrastinating. And I'm telling myself it's for inspiration, and I'm doing it whilst procrastinating. <laughs> this is a new low for me. I check the time. It's, I only have a few minutes left, so I click off. I'm done. I need to get some actual work done. This is going to be a productive day. I know it will. So I force myself. I'm scripting out at least for the next 30 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm getting this work done. I go onto the computer. I start writing. Minute after minute, boom, my alarm goes off. It's 9.30, work time's over. Let's see how much I got done. These last four days, I've been working relentlessly on this guide, and I've been waking up every single morning to try and work on this. I really need this money, so I hope this is going to be an awesome guide. I wanted to show my viewers, I wanted to completely destroy procrastination for them. I want to solve this pain point of theirs, and I want to build my own credibility so I can sell them my coaching package. This is about what I've been working for these last four days, and I haven't enjoyed it. I hated my life a little bit, but I think this is going to be awesome. So I'm scrolling through the slides, and I'm seeing these amazing slides. I mean, slide after slide. And I get to the bottom one, and I try and keep scrolling, but there's no more. And I realized that all those slides that I just saw, honestly, they were maybe 20, 30 minutes of focused, solid work, all combined, all of the four days that I've been working on it. And so I shut off my computer. I'm just frustrated and disappointed with myself. I'm, I, I go outside my bedroom and I walk downstairs. As I'm walking downstairs, I'm just thinking, like, what am I doing wrong here? I know I need money and I've been working really hard on it. I really want to get this, but as much as I try, it's like I'm hitting a wall here. And I've hated my life the entire time. I don't enjoy doing this. How can I solve this issue? And I realized that before I started making this full guide, when I fully just posted the videos that I wanted to make, I got more work done and I enjoyed it more. And by doing so, I actually make more money in the long run. And so I realized then that as I'm coming down the stairs that maybe it's not that you, I need to make the most, you know, the best thing for my YouTube channel or the views or the subscribers or the money. Maybe I just make the thing that's interesting and authentic to me. And I'll enjoy it more. It'll feel so awesome to make. I'll get out of bed at 5 a.m. with a smile on my face. And I'll make more money because of it. My name is Malachi, and this channel is all about showing you my self-improvement lessons that I've learned on my journey, and we can grow together through that. There is a Calendly link in the description. You can book a one-to-one -one sales call with me, and we'll set you up with a coaching package and see if we're a good fit to work together. I think if you're struggling with this and you want to have these systems in place that can build you a life that you are so proud of, I think we can get that together. Go ahead and click that right now. And so this video is specifically about 
how to enjoy your work because it's very easy to fall in to this trap of doing YouTube for the subscribers and the money and I'm going to be completely honest it's so easy that I've fallen for it while knowing that this I need to avoid this so when I made those procrastination videos you can look on my channel so that was this last Friday but on my channel two weeks ago this very last video I posted says views do not equal subscribers I could put that on screen it's literally two weeks ago and I made that video and it was telling you don't do it for the views don't do it for the subscribers don't do it for the money and yet here I am literally two weeks later I fell for the exact same trap that I told you guys not to it is tough it's tough man I'm not going to lie to you like I guarantee you, if you're posting consistently onto YouTube, you've either already fallen for it and you're watching this and it's like opening your eyes for the first time, or you're going to fall for it in the future. Even though you know about it, it's almost in, it's almost inevitable. It's going to happen. And so what are the signs? What are the signs? So at first you're you're just it's gonna be like how that story was. You're gonna first start thinking like you're, you're gonna start getting less work done. You'll find yourself like procrastinating the work more and it just won't feel like fun. You won't really enjoy your life. Maybe you'll get this new plan out of nowhere to like, okay, I need to sell my coaching package so I'm gonna make these videos, but they'll still be authentic because I kinda wanna talk about these, but they're full guides and they'll be for my productivity coaching that I sell. That was the idea I had. And that doesn't sound bad, but when the if it feels bad, it's wrong. Like, if, if it's not for you, it's not for you. And so you might be like, okay, but what if I just really need to make the money? So I'll just post the terrible videos right now. And then once I have 100K subs, then I'll switch over and I'll start posting the authentic videos where it's unedited and it's just me sharing really intellectual thoughts and the things I've learned. Here's the thing. I'll post, I'll put a YouTuber on screen right now. This guy saw, just honestly, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And his name is Far From Weak. He's this YouTuber that, his videos, he has like 1.2 million subs. He has, you know, he gets an easy 200K returning viewers on each video. But look at his videos, bro. He puts attractive women on the titles. It's a faceless channel. That he does purely for views clickbait videos you watch the entire thing and you only clicked on it because there's an attractive woman on there you watch through the entire thing and by the end of it you don't really walk away with any actual usable information maybe there's even like a dollar shave club you, you know <laughs> sponsorship in the middle and you think like oh, okay but that's successful right you would you want to be him would you like to be in those shoes? Because I wouldn't. I'd rather be here with 50 subscribers posting authentic videos. And that's weird. Like, oh, but he's making more money. He has a following. So what do you think happens when he wants to... He, oh, okay, so he's made the money. He's got the 1 million subscribers. So now he's going to switch over to purposeful videos. What do you think his audience looks like? Because, yeah, he has a, a million subscribers. A million who? My AC's going on. Okay. <laughs> a, a million who? Like, like, who do you think would click on a video like that? Unintelligent 12-year-olds. Genuinely. Like, it's going to be a lot of, like, 13-year-old kids that see an attractive woman and just click on the video. That's who his audience is. Would you like to be that guy? And so when he starts posting these purposeful videos, if he even is in the first place, they're going to be, he's going to get like, how much do you think? Like maybe 1,000 views. Maybe 1,000 views on each video. Maybe less. Because those 12-year-olds that need like the hyper-stimulated, like editing and everything, those guys, they don't care about him. And they're going to go to the next guy. They'll see like, oh, he's not posting these videos. 
that I normally click on, they're just going to go to the next guy who is. They're just going to go to the other guy who's posting the hyper simulate, like edited videos. And so he's going to start posting, but he's only going to have like maybe a thousand viewers, max. And you don't want to be that. He traded probably years of his life. I mean, how much do you think it took to build 1.2 million subs? Probably years of his life. I mean, thousands of hours of hard work. Editing all the videos. I mean, can you imagine what that would be like? I mean, he probably hates his life. Genuinely, I would if I had a channel like that. And so we, we don't want to be these guys. That's not a good position. If you make the 100K, but you do it for the views, you make the hyper-simulated editing videos, it doesn't matter, bro. You, you're not... One view does not equal one view. A view from an unintelligent 13-year-old who's broke does not equal a view on a video like this, who's probably you know a decent age, probably has an okay amount of money, probably is actually intelligent and can sit through a video like this, you know? And so... You need to stop seeing it as like one view is equal to one view because there's not going to be any like intelligent people that actually watch a video like that. <laughs> and so, what's the path for us? And the path is to make your work enjoyable. Don't do, don't post the video you think will get money. Post the video that you want to post about. I don't know what that's going to look like for you. This is a very like case by case thing where I can't just give a one size fits all. But a very good starting place is where you're curious. So genuinely, or generally, where you're curious, you'll start to learn more about, right? And you'll be curious about it. And whatever you're learning about, that's what you share. It's like these new learning lessons or ideas that I'll just find myself like, I learned this new concept and then I'm just like outside on the sidewalk. It's like, you know, it's like late at night and I'm just like talking to myself like a psychopath because I, I'm like, whoa, that'd be so crazy and I could do it. And those are the things you want to post about, like these, these new realizations you've had. And so that's different for everyone. If you're like way ahead of me on your self-improvement journey, that would mean posting, you know, like really intellectual videos. If you're a little bit behind me, then it might be more of like the beginner stuff, but it, it really just depends. I mean, I wouldn't post until I have like a new idea or realization or something I want to bring up. And so you need to realize how easy this is to fall into. I mean, you will fall into this repeatedly. I will fall into this repeatedly. I've already fallen into it twice. I've made two videos over it. And I guarantee you that I'm going to, to, to fall off the path a few times. I think this is the path for us. I think, honestly, you, you don't need many views, man. Views does not equal cash. Likes ain't cash. And when you go down this path and, you know, give it a year or two, and you're, you're making one, 2K, 3K a month online, right? Is that we're not entertainment channels. We don't need the views, you know? Maybe for a little AdSense, but, I mean, honestly, we're not entertainment channels. We, we get money from helping people. And so make your videos as valuable as possible. And so you make them valuable. You do the learning lessons that you've learned. You know, two years down the line and you have 1K, 2K, 3K, boom. 3K a month online, I mean, that would be like a zero to one for you. That would change your life completely. You don't have to work that shit job. You can save up and you can go on, you can try new experiences, you can live life, you can share about those stories that you've gotten from those experiences onto your channel, and you can then grow your channel even further from that. You have more experiences, you're more knowledgeable. I think this is the path for us. I really do see this as a vision that we can have together. Um, I hope you found this one valuable, bro. Go click that first link if you haven't already in the description and sign up for a consultation call for my productivity coaching and I will see you in the next one.